In this video lesson, we will learn about the domains of root functions. So first, we're going to talk about what we mean by root functions. When we talk about roots in math, we usually mean things like square roots. We could also mean cube roots or other roots, but at least in this video lesson, we're going to stick to the square root. So for example, what we know about the square root is that the square root of 1 is equal to 1, and the square root of 4 is equal to 2, and the square root of 9 is equal to 3. And that's just because 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, and 1 squared is 1. Well, we can define a function, y equals the square root of x, meaning that the y equals to the square root of whatever we plug in. And this is the simplest root function that exists. So everything we're going to do with root functions is going to be based on y equals root x. So let's take a closer look. We can have a root function like y equals root 3 minus x, y equals root 2x plus 3. We could also have y equals root 2x minus 1. And I think you get the point. Just things inside of the square root. All right, so now let's have a brief talk about domain. What do we mean by the word domain? Well, the domain is where the function that we are given works. So here we have y equals root x. If we have x that is negative, then the square root of x does not exist. It's not real. So what I mean is that, for example, you can't take the square root of negative 1. And you can't take the square root of negative 5. This is because the square of any number has to be positive or 0, but it just can't be negative. And similarly, the square root of negative 17 is not real either. None of these are defined. So none of them are in the domain of the square root of x. This function, y equals root x, works only for x greater than or equal to 0. And that is what we mean by the domain. It's the numbers that we are allowed to plug in to this formula. So the domain is if we rewrite it in interval notation, square bracket 0, comma, infinity, with a parenthesis. And that is what we mean by the domain. So now let's take a look at some other examples. And again, the domain is where the function works. It's the set of numbers that we are allowed to plug in. So the next example, we will take the problem, what is the domain of the function? y equals root 2x minus 3. Well, what do we know about this function? Well, we have our square root, and inside of the square root, we have 2x minus 3. We also know that what's inside of the square root has to be greater than or equal to 0, and that this defines the domain. Now all we have is this linear inequality to solve. For more on how to solve linear inequalities, you can watch my video lecture with that same name. So we are given 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. First, we just add 3 to both sides after I'm done cleaning up here. So we add 3 to both sides because we want to isolate the variable x. And we get 2x is greater than or equal to 3. Then we divide by 2 on both sides. We get x greater than or equal to 3 halves, which is equal to 1.5. So the domain of this function is going to be the interval square bracket 1.5 comma infinity parenthesis in interval notation. 
and that's the answer to the problem. I hope you found this video lecture helpful. Thank you for watching.